Brothers, I'm back with a video. If you like the content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Everything in this video is alleged. But let's get into this video. We're going to be talking about, you know, uh, the hip-hop fantasy. And basically, a lot of these females, they don't really like so-called Israelite or black men. They just have what you call a hip-hop fantasy. And um, what do I mean by that? <laughs> When you see non-black women or non-Israelite women and they have to get with a very specific type of a black man or Israelite man, man of color, whatever, it's usually because they have a hip-hop fantasy. When you see them wear box braids and eyelashes and long fingernails, they have what you call a hood booger or a hip-hop fantasy. That's what I'm trying to get you brothers to understand. So I was watching The View with this chick, Jenny Ma. Uh, Mayo, how you pronounce her name? And she was married to a so-called Caucasian man. And allegedly, she divorced him for no reason. Maybe she was just bored with the relationship. You know, these females, they get bored very quickly. So um, she allegedly divorced her husband for no reason, her Caucasian husband. And she, on the view, she said she liked her dark meat on the side. So, uh, I meaning talking about black dudes, basically. Um... And she gave a list. She was still married while she was doing this. And she was disrespecting her husband by saying she liked, she had a thing for more ethnic men. And the guys that she gave off was Frank Ocean. She said it was, she was drawn to a certain aura or a certain swag, specifically rappers. That's what she was drawn to. She was drawn to rappers. And she gave off Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean is not a heterosexual man and he's not a rapper. But, you know, and she also had, a, she, I think, she, I could be wrong. But I think she said Common. So she said she would marry a man like Common. Let me know if I'm wrong. I could be tripping. And uh, I believe Jeezy, of course, was in there. And uh, how ironic, years later, she ended up marrying Jeezy. Jeezy, if you brothers don't know, one of my favorite rappers growing up. <laughs> my uncle put me on to him. You know, uh, in his words, he ain't a rapper. He a trapper. You know, and he talks about guns, violence, uh and just all type of wild stuff, basically. And um, she ended up with this guy. All right? That's why I said guy, girls like Jenny Ma, May, or how you press her name, they have what you call a hip-hop fantasy. And a lot of black women have a hip-hop fantasy. That's why you see they only date a, a specific man of color who they associate with the hip-hop guy or the rap, the rap guy or the street guy. You know, that bad boy, degenerate image, male image. So you got to understand that they they have a hip-hop uh, fantasy. You know, that's why they were what they were. That's why they dated a specific type of brother. Because, like I said, they have a hip-hop fantasy. And it's funny because she um, ended up divorcing them. Because, of course, they were going to divorce because it was a fetish. Um, it was a fetish ship. It wasn't a relationship. It was a fetish ship. It was carnal. And she was mad because... They were he would leave guns, um, just out in the open, and they have a, a kid. And I was like, "What would you expect? You don't <laughs> you married a guy who portrays that fake? I mean, or I don't call it fake, but that character. You know, a lot of black men they play that street thug character, even though a lot of them ain't really street dudes. They just do it because they know women are attracted to it, and uh, they're drawn to that energy. You know." But yeah, she. I mean, like, what would you expect? I mean, he was never a, a man you should have took serious in the first place. And now, Jeannie Ma, I don't know what she's doing now, but she's divorced and they're going through court procedures. And, you know, she got a baby out of Jeezy. You know, Jeezy, you know, probably got with her because it enhanced his profile. His music is not selling like it used to sell. You know, and she just wanted a fantasy. So a lot of these females who get with black men, you understand, they just have hip-hop fantasies. They don't really like black men. Especially when you notice um, they get with black men and um, they usually follow us or, you know, attract to a very specific type of black, so-called black men. It's because they have usually have a hip-hop fantasy or what they associate with that image. You know, they have tattoos. <laughs> they got dreads and all this other shit It's because they have a hip hop fantasy And a lot of black women are like that too They don't really like black men They have a hip hop fantasy And uh, I'm about to make another video about this Topic with black women Asking a question 
a so-called black woman and asking them a question about that. So I'm going to make another part two to this. This is the part one. Uh, I'm out.